Hi, today we're going to do some math work because number bonds are a different way to do math than the way a lot of your parents might have learned how to do math in school. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit different, but it's, it's also a good way to learn and we're going to show you how. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that I teach number bonds where you can take three numbers and make four different math equations. And it will help you and your kid and your family to understand math and numbers. All right, so here we go. The first thing you see with number bonds is there's three circles. One, and then there's two circles that come off of this one. Now, this circle is going to be where the big number goes. And then these circles are going to be where the two numbers that go that create this number. So, for example, let's make five our big number. So, if we need to figure out what two numbers make five, I'll give you one. So, here's number two. So, if I look at my number line up here, and I start at number five, and I go back two spots, one, Two, I end up with number three. So I know that two plus three equals five. And then we can make our four equations. There's going to be two additions and two subtractions. All with these three numbers. So for the addition, I know that I'm going to use my two smaller numbers. So I will know that 2 plus 3 equals 5, as well as 3 plus 2 equals 5. So here's an example. If I had two apples and somebody gave me three apples, I would now have five apples. Or I could have started with three apples. Someone gave me two apples and I got five apples. Two different ways to do the addition. Now another way is to use it for subtraction. So we know that the biggest number always goes first. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 5 there. Now 5 minus 2 equals 3 and 5 minus 3 equals 2. So from this very simple math bond of what two numbers create another number, I can create four different equations. Let's try it again, but with a little bit of a bigger number, something a little bit harder. So, here we go. Erase, erase, erase. All right, my next number is going to be 11. And I get the number 6. So I go up to my number line, and I go to 11, and I go back 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm at number 5. So I know that 6 and 5 make 11. Now let's make our four equations. Ready? What do we do first? That's right. We're going to take the two smaller numbers. So I know that if I have 6 plus 5, I get 11. And I also know that if I have 5 plus 6, I get 11. And when I get to the subtraction, I know to always start with this big number first. 11 minus 5 equals 6. And 11 minus 6 equals 5. All right, we're going to do one more with an even bigger number. But it works every time. All right, we get it all erased. And here we go. I'm going to go with 19. Much bigger number. And I'm going to choose the number 11 here. So, if I go to 19 and I go back 11, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I get to number 8. All right. What do we do first? That's right. We take the two smaller numbers. 11 plus 8 equals 19. 8 plus 11 equals 19. Now what do we do for subtraction? That's right. We're going to get that big number first. 19 minus 11 equals 8. 19 minus 8 equals 11. So, those are all ways that you can practice number bonds at home. So get out a piece of paper, draw three circles, and figure out which two circles could make a bigger number in that big circle. So you'll have two smaller numbers that create a bigger number. Then, make your four equations. Two addition, two subtraction. For addition, the smaller numbers always go before the equal sign. And for subtraction, make sure you always put the biggest number first. And then you'll have four equations from each of your number bonds.